The Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. The big news was that enormous fluke caught on the Miss Montauk this past weekend. I've been trying to get all the details, but all I know, the angler's name was Daniel, and the behemoth weighed in at 17.9 pounds and was caught on the south side of Montauk near the radar arch. If anybody knows more, please leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Now let's check in with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin. Thanks, Tim. Hey, anglers, meteorologist Rich Fonnell here at News 12 Long Island in the weather office. Let's uh, check the final weekend of summer and what the weather's going to be doing. And uh, I tell you what, looking pretty good. I like what I'm seeing right here. Nice treat for both Saturday and Sunday. Wave fights, uh, not bad. Saturday, good day. A little night, light northwesterly flow, about uh, 1 to 2, 2 to 4 feet. That's about 5, 10 miles, 3 to 5 way offshore. After those swells we had seen from the hurricane, uh, Things really settling. The timing terrific for this week. And look at all the blue in there. Just one to two, two to four. Soft roll. Looking very good. Sunday, both days should be good. A little more of a southwesterly breeze later Sunday afternoon, but that's late in the day. We'll go two to four, three to five uh, late Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. But uh, great. Numbers are low. I like Saturday. It looks terrific. Nice ridge here. Sunday gets a little bit breezier in the afternoon, but, you know, not bad whatsoever. Both days should be terrific. I think we're going to be in good shape. I don't see much in the way of any problems. Again, late in the day Sunday, a little more of a gust coming in. 80s, though. Nice warm weekend Saturday and also into Sunday. Uh, we're looking pretty good with temps in the 80s. So a nice way to end out officially the summer season. Looks great. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Happy angling. Meteorologist Rich Von Allen, back to you, Tim. Be sure to check out News 12 for the latest weather before heading out on the water. Back in July, Governor Cuomo approved two wind farms that would be located on Long Island's south shore. Of course, we fishermen will have many questions on how this will affect our waters. There'll be an open house meeting on Thursday, September 19th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at City Hall located at 1 West Chester Street in Long Beach. I'd be interested to hear what our viewers' thoughts are on the wind farm. Please leave your comments, again, on our YouTube channel. Tonight is the big show at the Huntington Hilton in Melville. John Skinner will be there, Crazy Alberto, Bill Wetzel, and more. The show is from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., and the first 600 through the door will get a goodie bag worth the price of admission. I'll be there running around the floor along with many of our contributors, so feel free to say hello. Let's check in with senior editor Fred Galafaro with the Montauk Fishing Forecast. Hey Tim, yeah, the Albies are in at Montauk. Uh, they're on the north side, south side, bouncing around. Guys catching them on deadly dicks and um, epoxy jigs. Also, fly rodders are into them. Um, I think of more interest to a lot of people is, uh, very surprisingly, a load of bass showed up. They are schoolies, but a week ago Tuesday they showed up. We talked about them last week. Uh, since then, there's been blitzes on a lot of days, uh, both in the boat and surf. Uh, biggest fish maybe 30 inches, most of them uh, have shorts, but a lot of action and scenes reminiscent of back in the late 90s and early 70s with schools of fish on top, birds working over them, um, and they're feeding on a lot of white bait. So uh, that's really good news. Um, fluke fishing, uh, fluke season runs till the end of the month, but the numbers have really dropped off and fishing has slowed, but in terms of quality, it's tough to beat. Uh, the south side of Montauk, 40 to 50 feet of water, has been producing some very big fluke. In fact, a couple of monster fluke, uh, including one that weighed 17.10 pounds caught by Daniel on the Miss Montauk. That was on Saturday, and another 14-pounder caught aboard the Montauk Star also on Saturday. So still a shot at that fluke of a lifetime. Um, if you can make it out, make it out to the point. It sounds like the fluke has dropped off in a lot of areas down along the uh, south shore. Uh, we've had a rough ocean there with the northeast winds. Uh, we're going to have a couple more days of that. It looks like right through Saturday, anywhere from four to sevens. So uh, nothing coming in as far as offshore reports go. Uh, we are looking at uh, Sunday. Sunday looks pretty good. Uh, two to threes with southwest wind, just five to ten knots. So if you're planning on heading out uh, in a boat, that would be the time to do it. Tim, back to you. Now let's check in with Mike Dean from Shinnecock. Thanks, Tim. 
Well, the striper bite has definitely come alive off the beach out here since uh, Dorian moved through. We had some heavy winds. The water was kind of dirty, but as of uh, Sunday, it had cleaned up. And, you know, not huge fish, but 24 to 30 inches. There's some bigger fish at night being taken around Mariches. Uh, first light, there's been a pretty good bite. Also some weak fish mixed in there. We have the Albies running through Shinnecock, mostly at first light. And the first couple hours of incoming, but... Guys that are putting in their time with blind casting have been rewarded. I saw that over the weekend there. Um, in the bay, there's some weak fish, some small stripers. Um, so just a real great time to be fishing. It was good to see so many people show up at the Beth Page meeting uh, to figure out what the next step is going to be to protect this resource. Please, if you're just keeping fish to throw in a freezer, you don't really need it. Please don't keep the fish. Uh, these fish are just too valuable to everyone that's watching this and to other generations of fishermen that are coming up. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone at the Huntington Hilton tonight. Get out there, catch them up. If you're looking for a quality fishing boat that's affordable, check out a Sea Pro powered by Suzuki. For less than 400 a month, get you into all the action. Visit Kale's Family Boating Center for a test ride today. Now let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti from the Great South Bay and Fire Island area. Hey Tim, the word from Fire Island uh, seems like there's a pretty good weak fish bite in the back. You know, uh, from West Channel through Kismet, back to Point of Woods, and even up into Range Channel. You gotta kind of search around, you find a little body of fish, and so there's some good fish to be had. I know a fish taken up to over seven pounds. Most of them though are that smaller fish, two and a half pounds, three pounds, three and a half, something like that. But a few big ones mixed in as well. Also, blow fishing is off the hook good. Any place in the bay, basically put down a chum pot, a little bit of clam on a hook, and you're in. You'll have a blast. Crabbing is excellent, and the other thing is false albacore, some true, uh, true bonita, and uh, Spanish mackerel running around the inlet area this, on the top of the flood. They'll actually come up inside the inlet and all along the beaches on the outside. So that's the word. Get out there, catch them up, and have a great time. For this week's fly report, let's check in with Paul McCain from River Bay Outfitters. Hello, Tim. Here I am at this beautiful river preserve, the Connect Quad, with the Loring Fly Rodders. And we had a terrific day. A lot of big fish caught. They're getting a little picky, so you have to be better at it, and you better use the right fly. But we had terrific fishing here. Uh, I had one had to be 17, 18 inches. Just beautiful, beautiful fish in great shape. Norm over at the hatchery is doing a terrific job. Now, on the salt water scene, Kenny the Hat went out fishing the, around the East Rockaway area with a brand new outfit, and he did very, very well. He caught his first, first bluefish on a fly rod, so I'm thrilled to hear that. And Big Kev was also fishing in that area, and he had Spanish mackerel. You know, it's so deep in the bay in Spanish mackerel. There, there's so much bait. It's, it's just incredible. Loyola Tom. You know, the, he, he called me up. He said that he had 14 blue fish, five or six bass. It just is incredible, incredible season. So get out where you can. I know I'm going to get up early in the morning and hit the surf. So this is Paul at Ripley Outfitters. Tight lines, everybody. To next week. The West End Report is brought to you by Rachel's Waterside Grill on the Nautical Mile in Freeport. You hook it and they will cook it, and it's just 12 bucks per entree. Call 516-546-0050 for all the details. Now let's check in with Joey Leggio. Hey Tim, what's going on? Report for Deb's Inlet. The bays are loaded with bait. All that fall bait's coming in. It's rain bait. There's baby spearings. On that spearing, you've seen plenty of Spanish mackerel, cocktail bluefish, and that the stretch goes from anywhere from the Long Beach Bridge all the way to Atlantic Beach Bridge. So get out there, cast those little crocodiles, the uh, deadly dicks, slab jigs, hoagie epoxy jigs. You know, work that a lot. It's basically the fish of a thousand casts. You know, they're a little bit more difficult to catch, but they're out there. Uh, down by the bridge, there's some small stripers on the bridge. We've been bucktailing again. We had small stripers, bluefish, uh, all on the bridge. Also, the offshore scene is still, again, I mean, I'm repeating myself, it's it's porgy. What a great porgy season. Tons of big porgies, too, which is nice. Uh, the trigs are still being caught. There's still a couple fluke laying around there on that structure. And I noticed the ones that are being caught are actually pretty nice size. Uh, again, the bait's loaded. With, the bay is loaded with tons and tons of bait. Peanut bunker. Throw the net, get the peanut bunker, go cast those peanut bunkers along the dock lines, into the bridge pylons, and uh, you can work that bait as well. But uh, that's basically it. Hopefully we'll get out some more trips this week, and uh, 
I'll talk to you soon, Tim. Thank you. Now let's check in with Chris Ludwig. Thank you, Tim. What's going on, guys? So this past week, I didn't do too much fishing. My Jeep was out of commission, unfortunately. But uh, the past couple nights were all right. Last night, we went over by one of the Wantua Parkway bridges, and we saw a bunch of bluefish, very small, probably like 12, 13 inches, busted on bait near the shadow line of the bridge and then closer to the rocks on one of the sides. Anyway, we started throwing these guys out under the Kitek paddle tails on swim bait hooks. Uh, it got the job done, and we ended up racking up a couple nice fish, uh, nice enough to throw for baits, and I did throw one out in the open beach. I hooked up on something. I'm going to assume it was a shark. Unfortunately, I broke it off. Uh, that's the game, though. As far as fresh water goes, the white perch bite has been pretty good in a couple of the tunnels. One of the main ones I fished, you guys seen it on the report before, uh, they seem to be stacked up. It was almost like striped bass fishing a small current. There was some water coming through there, and at a certain point, they were all sitting up on a line. There were no more bluegills. Uh, so that was pretty interesting. We were getting them on live night crawlers and very, very small jig heads like trout magnets. Uh, anyway, that's it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Dave Yeagerman is back with a report from the marsh near Reynolds Channel. Thank you, Tim. Dave Yeagerman here with Captain Frank Machia. Firefly, we're out here in Jamaica. Well, not Jamaica Bay, but Frank, where are we? We're, uh, we're in a secret spot. Secret North spot. North secret spot, guys. We're back up in the creeks, and we've been casting for about a half hour. Had a couple of strikes, no catches but we just found a nice load of fish and we put a deceiver on and we're heading back to go catch them. If you want to get out here for the next couple of months, look up Firefly, call Captain Frank Machia, he'll put you on fish. Coming up September 27th through the 29th is the Tobey Boat Show. You may ask yourself, is the fall a good time to buy a boat? The answer is yes. Long Island's best dealers will be there with aggressive pricing on existing inventory and 2020 models. Also, interest rates have never been lower. Bring the family and check out the boat show. For more information, visit nyboatshows.com. Let's get the Staten Island Report from Mike Sentry. Thanks, Tim. Hey, fisherman, Mike Sancher here. Last week, me and my friend went out to the rock piles off the Sandy Hook coast in New Jersey. Well, managed to catch quite a few sea bass, very nice ones, a couple of jumbos in the mix. Had a throw every single one, one back, season's close, of course. Commences, I believe, October 8th, so check your marine digest. Porgies, definitely some big ones, but uh, not a lot, as, as you would expect from previous years, so we kept about a dozen. Um, that's what we pretty much caught, along with some shorts that we had to throw back. What I thought was beneath us chasing the surf, about half a mile out from the coast, I ended up being small snapper blues. So no sign of Bonita yet. I've been here in South Jersey and the Fire Island area in between. They've been catching them, but didn't produce that day. I'll be going out next week when the seas calm down, so that's all for me. Take care, guys. Have a good time. From the North Shore, we have Captain Mark McGowan. Hey guys, I gotta tell you, I love giving great fishing reports and this past week coming off the full moon has been nothing short of amazing. We've had non-stop jigging. This seems to have been the week of the sea bass. Uh, a lot of beautiful sea bass came over the rails and um, I just think that it's dynamite. Uh, you can use combinations of jigging. We've been using some clams tipped with spearing. Uh, remember, the predominant bait that we have out in our area, in the Eaton's Neck area, and I've seen all the way down to Smithtown Bay, are these small looking anchovies and tiny little uh, bunker. They're, and they're, they're mixed in with rain bait. So if you're having trouble catching fish, I highly recommend using the teaser. Our catch ratio has been very high. I'm seeing uh, other folks around us, they don't seem to be catching as many fish. And many times you'll see they're just using straight out jigs or a bucktail and there is no teaser on there. If you've got a problem with making one or you've got some questions, come in the shop, I'll make one for you. We'll pick out a teaser. They're relatively inexpensive and it's a great way to catch a lot of fish. Um, as far as big fluke go, it's been a tough pick, but we had uh, one come in and just tip the scales at over eight and a half pounds. That went to Captain Stew of Northport Charters. Right in that area, you've got to remember, all these bluefish are sending a lot of scraps down to the bottom. This is a great opportunity for you to catch that 
really giant fluke. Uh, the fluke that we've seen come in so far have been over the five, six pound range. They're fat, they've been eating all summer, and it seems like these fish are congregating up on the high points. Down at Smithtown Reef, the fish are coming in on that reef. While I've seen an absence of albacore this week, which I really don't understand, I might have to take a run down to uh, Crane's Neck to see if they're down there. Uh, uh, shop regular Coach George, my great high school coach from Chaminade, he came in and uh, he sent me this picture. First cast, we set him up with a nice little rig. Congratulations, George, that's a beautiful albie. This guy puts in a lot of time and uh, he's a perfect example of fishermen looking for success. You put in your time, you will find your fish. Now don't forget, tonight, Thursday, seven o'clock, the 19th is gonna be the Big Fisherman Show. I'll be there, I'll be with Phil, we'll have a smorgasbord of stuff. We're gonna have some beautiful rods, a lot of blanks. I'll be there with uh, ODM, Century, and Lamy Glass, and we'll have a nice selection. If you have any questions, or if you're a rod builder, feel free to come over to the table, ask any questions that you might like. And remember, uh, hint of the day, big tip of the week, Keep your eye out for birds because there's birds everywhere. Where there are birds, there's fish underneath this bait pushing the bait to the surface. So remember, if you look for birds, go to that area. You can jig, you can use bait. There's going to be fish there. Until next week, I look forward to seeing you at the Fisherman Show and Tight Lines. Kenny Cannon has his report from the North Shore as well. Thanks, Tim. The fishing here in the Northport and Shrogan Eaton Snack area has been really good. There's adult bunker pretty much all over there to my left in the Northport Bay. I'm actually going to go attack that school as soon as this video is over. Um, but yeah, they're pre adult bunkers pretty much everywhere. Um, the thing is, though, is that there's only bluefish under them, from what I can tell. Uh, I have seen some bass come up here and there, but for the most part, it's all bluefish. The snappers are also uh, pretty much everywhere still, so if you have kids or whatever, take them down to Centerport Bridge, take them down to Hobart's Beach, somewhere like that. Uh, if you have access to those areas and uh, go ahead and put a snapper popper on or a little tiny um, like a like a spoon or something like that or a little tin and uh, you'll be able to catch them pretty much all night long tonight 6 p.m we have the fishing show uh, huntington hilton it is my favorite night of the year and here's why we're gonna have great speakers john skinner's gonna be there doc muller's gonna be there alberto knee's gonna be there a whole bunch of other people as well so you get a vast amount of knowledge that you could put into play in your fishing game right now and improve your skills and all that kind of stuff it's amazing uh, the other thing, too, is great discounts from the vendors that we have there. You're going to have a lot of stuff to choose from. And you also have uh, a goodie bag that you get when you come in if you're one of the first 600 people. So what I love about tonight's show is that it's the only show that I know of that I can go to, get stuff, and then literally when it's over, I am at the beach trying everything I just bought. One of the things that drives me crazy about the March shows and the February shows, January shows, they're great, but I can't use any of the stuff until a few months later. So it's like I'm just sitting there looking at it. And as fishermen, we want to buy it, tie it, and throw it the second we get it, right? So come down 6 p.m. tonight at the Huntington Hilton. Hopefully we'll see you there. If not, we'll see you next week. Back to you, Tim. Now with our surf report from senior editor Fred Galafaro. Hey, Tim. Yeah, some good news coming from Montauk. A lot of bass that started a week ago Tuesday, and uh, they're still there. You know, every day is not a blitz, but... There's been a lot of that blitz fishing with fish, schools of fish on top, birds working over them, and uh, working in pretty tight to the beach. So that's good news. Uh, early this week, some big bluefish showed up. They were mixed in uh, with the bass, particularly on the north side. Uh, albies are around. Uh, the mouth of the harbor has been a good place to find albies. And uh, the good news is this, starting tomorrow, Friday, kicks off the Montauk Classic. You have until Saturday, 9 a.m. to sign up at Paulie's. It's $15. Uh, the awards ceremony is Sunday at 12.30. First 100 people there get a goodie bag with some tackle in it. Uh, but the fishing is good. Hopefully it's going to keep up. We are looking at a pretty good surf uh, through, through Saturday. It's supposed to lay down Sunday, two to three feet by Sunday. But in the meantime, we're probably looking at four to sixes. Um, and uh, northwest wind, which should help lay it down and also help uh, help casting if you're on the south side. But um, you know, it's it's shaping up to be uh, to be some really good fishing and a good fall. We haven't had this number of bass around in Montauk in a few, in, in a few years, so good to see. Uh, as far as the rest of the island goes, same thing. A lot of activity between uh, school bass, uh, cocktail blues, not big ones. Haven't heard too many big ones, except some to maybe. 10 pounds in Merch's Inlet, but there's, uh, there's bluefish bass and albacore activity from Shinnecock 
all the way to Breezy Point. Um, so, like I said, things are shaping up. It's looking looking like it's going to be a pretty good September. The North Shore has the North Fork has Albies. Uh, the North Shore has Albies in some areas. They're scattered along with school bass. Same thing that Huntington area seems to have uh, a good number of school bass. And there's cocktail blues bouncing around, scattered along the south, sh the north shore as well. So, uh, all in all, you know, the surf picture's looking up. And if you're not doing anything tonight, you still have time to catch the Fisherman Surf slash Inshore show. That kicks off 6 o'clock tonight at the Huntington Hilton. $15 to get in the door. No, I'm sorry, $20 to get in the door. $15 for kids 16 and under. Uh, goodie bag worth more than the price of admission to the first 600 people at the door. Great speakers, uh, free raffle with a lot of terrific prizes, and uh, it's just it's a it's a great night. So if you're not doing anything, come on down. Hope to see you there. Till next week, for Gola Far here for thefisherman.com. The Tow Bay Boat Show is back September 27th through the 29th. With the lowest interest rates in years, now is the best time to get in on the fun. From fishing boats to personal watercraft, this show has it all. Free parking and fun for the whole family. For more info, visit nymta.com. If you'd like to be part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, a tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail. Com. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on our YouTube channel. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dream Boat Contest. See you at the show. This is Tim C. Smith for TheFisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrood Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.